So here we are, it's Friday afternoon, down at the DHL, shell at the docks. Is our, is our specification packs and our final samples with all the adjustments for our March launch. To say I'm excited is an understatement. This thing will be at our manufacturers within two to four days. They'll ship us back the pre-production samples and then it's all good to go for production for our March launch. Cannot wait. Talk about them excited about. We got our power joggers, our tech hoodie, we got our performance quarters up for men, we got our origin tee, and also our female long line of our 2019. This year we're going heavy, heavy on products. Uh, I cannot wait to just launch after launch after launch. It's all about to kick off. Yeah, so there's how excited I was exactly two weeks and one day ago. Uh, well, there's been an issue. It's pushing shit back. And then spending my Saturday morning at 9 a.m. down here in DHL. In Belfast, trying to rectify the issue. So yeah, I'm gonna go in here now and argue with some like probably eight, seven stone, four foot girl. That's gonna go well. Twenty minutes later. So here we are. I got forms that I needed to, that I needed to get. Uh, I spent about the first ten minutes in there, basically trying to explain what the hell I want. She told me it was impossible. I couldn't get it, and she finally turned to me and goes. Oh, I get what you mean now. And it was all sorted. There was a different girl, the other girl wasn't there, which I'm probably kind of glad about because I didn't even want to look at her after what she's done. Uh, I'd end up saying something. But again, I'll talk about the whole thing later. <laughs> so yeah, she brought me into the back of the ground, types of out on the computer. She actually made me type it this time, so it was, there couldn't be an error made. That's all good. Well, not all good yet, but we'll figure out if it is all good. Figure it? Find out. But yeah, right, need to go get my hair cut at 11, that's why I'm wearing a hat. Uh, hopefully I have time to get food beforehand, so we'll see. If I do, I'll go to Tony and Chance. If not, straight to the haircut. Let's go. A barber texted me to say he's going half an hour behind schedule today, which gives me an extra half an hour to get food. So I definitely have time to go to Tony and Chance. Uh, I've seen their oats online, like, loads and loads of times. So I'm actually excited to try this. I'm going to say something that I don't know is true or not. I think Tony and Jens is vegan. It may or may not be. But they do have some good oats. I think they do do vegan dishes if, they don't, if they're not just vegan. My chance. Yeah. Let's go. Alright, so I was definitely 100% walking the wrong direction up at this burn road. <laughs> I was walking that way. I should have been walking this way. I got to the end and was like, yep, I shouldn't be here. Take two. Turns out I asked the girl on the vegan menu, but it's not all vegan. They have other stuff to put up. Probably going to be quicker, so you can pause, but I'm getting these. The oats with all of that. And coffee, and Amazon. And here they are. I don't even know what's in them. Like, biscuit, everything. Stuck in. Yes, yeah, so them oats actually were really, really nice. No sugar in them, which they were still sweet, which was nice. But, Honey and Jen's basically there. I built I make sure it's like just behind that van. I walked the whole way that direction. For a reason, but it was like a 30 second walk that way to where I parked. But yeah, home now, get into the car, then go to four down, put a backdrop, and let's go part of them. Also, before I forget, um, whenever I was in Tony and Jan's, there was like a kid sat beside me. I said kid, it wasn't a kid, it was a baby, it was like one, maybe not even one year old. <laughs> I don't want, I, I'm not, you know what, I'm not good at judging babies' ages at all, right? It was a baby of some sort, <laughs> and a boy. Uh, basically made a best friend, kept laughing at me, smiling at me. Every time I turned around, he was just looking at me, laughing and smiling. <laughs> so I did make a best friend. And now I'm kind of like... I love a wee sidekick, bro. Don't want, a, don't want a baby, not yet, but... You know what I need? A dog. I need to get a dog. What's about a dog sitting right there? That's what I need. I'm broody for a dog. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Haircut, let's go. Time you call us here. You're on the my time today? My time. My time? My time or your time? <laughs> get in here, let's get this done. Right. <sighs> so, what are you going to do today, Luggy? I am going to do what you're usually going to do, which is a skin fade, uh, beard, the other one, and that's about it, really. Right. So, the usual. <sighs> So it's just, just a, the usual rim trim and a strim? Rim trim, bum strim, and all the rest, yeah. All the rest. Actually, does need a dapper. It's been 
It's been actually a couple of weeks now. Like. It's, it's flat as hell too, see that hat back. I know, I know. Hat her. Hat her back. You know. <laughs> Hi fade. Texture. Nice taper on the beard. That's it. Fresh. Right. It looks really good in that camera. Uh, like really good. Aye man, Sony. Yeah, like proper clear like, you know. Yes sir. But anyway, fade, fade done. Gym time. Dane's on drugs. I got these cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> <laughs> But I, hear, but, but I hear here a transition. There you go, we're, we're now in focus. Oh, all, that, all that didn't happen. We're in the, we're in the casting room. Yeah, that's putting nothing in the world. The, cast, the casting couch? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Lana, do your scene. <laughs> <laughs> so we did this before this time. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. You, you got it, Bonnie. Go. Get her in there, come on. To the dome. Keep her down, like a good girl. <laughs> casting couch 2.0. <laughs> Right, if I took it before, I'm going to take it here. Yeah, fuck off. No. That's all you, that's all you need, man. No, that's man, no. Hardly. That's all you need. <laughs> that's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. You're fucked. It actually says, like, take corner of a script to build a palace. Mar Marty, it literally says, you, you have to go for a full scoop. Go for a full scoop. <laughs> full scoop, I man. I never take a full scoop, I don't think, like. Oh, Marty, bye. Don't cough. <laughs> 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 oh, Swallow it, man. If you spit, I'm going to put you back in the streets. <laughs> anyway, I, mean, well, I don't even know what your vlog's going to be called, like, but it could be wrong, see, like. And it's actually on the question of her. I'm a story and hit inappropriate questions. I think appropriate or inappropriate questions. Right. Shouldn't these were inappropriate. All right, first question was about wrong, see, like. You've been wrong, see. Where was this? I got an argument. Oh, just an argument. Feel free to jump in. Why would not say? I am. Um, well, I'll answer this question here, then. Because the man's already questioned. Right, so what is this here going on? The first question the questioner was top or bottom? <laughs> top or bottom? What? What is going on? Has any like tits or ass? Or do you prefer to be on top or at the bottom? Oh, right. Hello, what is going on? How, how, you, like, how did she know the question? You shouldn't. I'm zoned out. It's like tits or ass. Like, I, got, ass I kind of got the same. What's top going on? Top or bottom? Right, right. So what, what's happening? But you have to also answer my question tits or ass. Do you like her on top or do you like to be on top? I like to be on top. <laughs> nah, you're wrong. What do you I like? I don't know what I'm wrong with. I don't even know. Variety is the spice of life. Oh. Okay. Okay. What about my aunt question? Yeah, ask my all day long. Well, good answer. Yeah, Alright, I'll send you a Matthew, yourself. That's actually grown, please. It actually is grown. Yeah. Matthew, what's your preference? Marty's ass. Hey, Marty's ass. Yeah. Lana, do you prefer tits or ass? Ass, because I have no tits. Thank you so much. I still don't understand what's going on here, but sure, we'll just roll into the wind. Don't know why we're talking wrong to you. Right, oh, so <laughs> I swear to you, what's right? <laughs> Why actually did that? And a nigga, no skin, and it hunts my show. Everybody came to the cold, but ain't nobody got a win and go. No motherfuckers to get home. So, where's Kearney? Horrible done. A wee bit of foosball with a gabble. Dane, how's that stitch from that three seconds you done? <laughs> Can't breathe. <laughs> I'm so fucked. I'm sick. Right, so that's session done. I couldn't really record any 
talking in there because you can still hear the music and copyright and YouTube would destroy me. But yeah, good session today. I have to go and pay for my haircut because earlier on I didn't have any money with me. So I need to go back and pay for that now. Uh, get food and then go to a mate's house for a bit. Yeah, all around, good Saturday. Let's go. So what is up YouTubes, uh, didn't get home last night till late, uh, so didn't really get finishing the vlog up, but it didn't matter because up this morning, as you've seen, head circuit in VO2, done a bit of shoulders, arms, calves and abs, kind of a weird workout after a full head circuit, but yeah, it was good, tomorrow's my rest day and I'm going to chill and eat all the food. So I have to, to finish this vlog off, I have to talk about one, the issues that we're having at the minute and how we're going to rectify them and what that kind of means and I've answered one inappropriate question, the video is going to be a bit longer than what I think so I'm going to answer one serious question as well and then get into the issues basically yeah so the serious question was if I could live anywhere in the world where would it be and why and to be honest with you it's been my, in my head for years now LA, I want to go to California, I want to go to LA it's a dream of mine to set the business up here, have it fully functional within the UK and then when the time is right we'll open up a distribution centre in America and I'll move and I will start setting that up out there and then we'll just run on a global scale, like a massive corporation because that is the goal with OneFit, that is the end goal and it's happening, doesn't matter if it takes 5 years, doesn't matter if it takes 10 years or 20 years OneFit is going to be a multinational corporation, global, yeah So yeah, LA, I just love the vibe out there, I love the life out there, I love the fact that I follow a lot of YouTubers and vloggers and Instagrammers from out there and they just seem to be able to do what they want. Health and fitness is such like, it's held in such high esteem out there. They're miles ahead of where we are and you can literally do any form of fitness, any form of health you want. You can run down the street vlogging, Instagramming and no one bats an eyelid. It's just normal out there to be able to do whatever you want and be yourself and no one's judging you. And that's the life that they want to grow up, just good vibes all around. So yeah, I could get there and I could hate it and I could end up moving somewhere else. But that's where I want to go and that's why and um, we'll see when we get there if that is actually what it's like. I'll obviously go travel unfortunately like visit it, but yeah. So into the issues that we're having and basically why the title of this vlog is the most testing few months we're gonna have. Uh, or whatever, it's some sort of variation of that. Essentially we were supposed to have a launch happening in the first week of February, which is only like two weeks away at the minute. We had been designing our products for a long long time now so we had the tech, the tech hoodie the Apollo joggers I have an Apollo t-shirt a long line performance t-shirt for females and we have the performance quarters for males as well that was just going to be the start 2019 was meant to be our year of going heavy heavy product launch after launch after launch it was all kicking off the first week of February and uh, yeah we ran into some issues not that we ran into issues we got let down by our manufacturer to, so I'll give you like a kind of time scale back in November we launched the shape leggings which was great uh, we have two manufacturers we have one who does all of our current one fit stuff and all the lunar leggings and all the impulse stuff and our sanities they're amazing we kind of wanted to diversify and get two manufacturers in case something ever happened and we did that with the shape and the Cali amazing quality they're amazing products uh, we were so so happy with it all the way through testing and sampling everything was perfect and then when we came to bulk production you guys will notice that we actually took the black shape leggings with the stripe off sale we had to email like 22 customers like we, we found out pretty quickly but we had to email 22 customers basically give them exchanges or refunds because of the day it was running from the black into the white stripe this didn't happen through sampling this didn't happen through testing we were assured it wouldn't happen because we paid uh we paid extra for the highest color fastness in that fabric that we could get and uh yeah 
comic book production or manuf that manufactured that us down. The rest of the products were all amazing, but just the black, and we had to take them off sale, we had to deal with That was the first kind of issue. We were pushing forward to, to get all of the rest of the other products out, with, out in February. We were supposed to place the order uh, first week in January. This, actually, you know, they were telling me, they were told me they had to have the order in for like the second or third, I can't remember what the date was exactly in January. I tried to give it to them two days before it, a day before it, just to have everything confirmed and finalized beforehand, like not on the nose. And the date they told me they would accept the order, I tried giving it to them early. And they told me that we weren't going to receive our products until the 10th of March. We were meant to be receiving them on January 28th, 29th, and out the first week in February. So they pushed our, they pushed our launch back by like two months. Honest, they. I tried arguing. I tried everything. They would not accept anything else. I was like, we cannot go like three months into the, into this year without launching a new product. It's meant to be a year of heavy products. They wouldn't budge. They also owed us a refund for the shape leggings in black, which we also never got. So we're out of pocket. They pushed our launch back, and they just would not budge with us at all. So we lost a lot of money. They pushed us back a few months. And we basically told them to go and themselves. So we took the hit and the loss. We took the, we want to have to deal with the issues of like the longer launch. And we handed everything we have over to our current manufacturer, our one that does all the Luna and Impulse stuff for us, uh, because they do amazing work. And yeah. So they were promising us delivery of all the stuff on the fifth of March, which is insane because they had to start from scratch. That's how far. They pushed us back. They just did not want to deal with us at all. I don't know what the issue was. But yeah, we lost money. We didn't get a refund. And we spent a lot of money and a long time developing the products with them. That we've also lost as well. So we had to start the process with a new one. Uh, that's why I was down to DHL. I was sending off all of the details, all of the spec files, all of the fabrics, all of the fits. Every single bit of details that we had ready for production for all of these new, new products. And the girl in the office of DHL filled the forms out wrong. It was a part of the form that was typed that she had to do and customs would not accept those into the country. So customs are now holding those. They're going to send it back to us. And the problem is that with Chinese New Year starts January 25th and uh, they don't come back again until February 20th, which meant that they weren't receiving anything to start ordering the fabrics and start placing the orders and stuff like that for the fabrics and the features and get those to get those all compiled together. They're not going to be able to do that now until after Chinese New Year, which means it's also pushing it back another month. So yeah, this year was meant to be our big year of growth and products and just, we were so excited, so looking forward to it and it's just been one issue after another, after another, delay, delay, delay. And that's why I'm trying to sort out the minute. Customs will not uh, accept anything from me. The issue with the form was actually, so it said clothing samples, uh, it said the value that I put on it to be insured by and now, like I said, I said the clothing samples, she put down one piece. It was meant to be like multiple pieces because uh, there was multiple things in it. And that's what they won't accept. I tried arguing with them saying it, it clearly said samples, not sample. The unit figure was wrong. The price with the, like, the, order, the value was still right. And yeah, they won't budge in anything. So I had to go down to DHL, get the forms redone again and send them off. And I don't know whether or not customs will accept the new forms. But DHL says even if they if they don't, they will also they will DHL will try and stop it before it leaves China again because they're going to return to sender. But the problem is customs are holding it for ten days before they return it to me. So even if DHL catch it, it's still not going to be for like another maybe ten days, eight days from now to send back, which means chain which means the production the whole our manufacturers will still be on Chinese New Year and it's still waits to, to after Chinese New Year to get done. So yeah. We, everything was about to be kicking off in February, then it was going to be in March, and now it could be looking like April. And we're just sitting out of pocket, massive loss of money, massive loss in time, and no new products for a couple of months. Yeah, shit one. So that's what we're trying to deal with at the minute. How do we keep things fresh? How do we keep things going? Like, how do we market the same products over and over again? It just gets boring. Uh, not even for us, but for the customer's point of view, we're still showing them the same products. And we had, we had so much ideas and so such cool new products ready to go. And uh, we just have to wait now. So yeah, that's the stress in my head. We have to see these few months through. And the problem is that because we are so much out of pocket already for it. And it's like, yeah, what do we do? But we just have to hold tight. We have to see it through. And whenever this launch comes, we have 
to kill it. Like it has to go well. But well, uh, we put a lot of time and effort into these products, and we always like give our best to everything, so it will work out. No matter what happens, business is going to be with us up and downs, and we always make everything work. Like we don't give up. That's the one thing that keeps us going. We we do not give up because this is our passion. This is our dream. We know the future we want to have for us and for everybody and our families and friends around us. And we know what one fit. We know what one fit can do for the world. Like as cheesy as that sounds, one fit's like my future life. Like it's not just a job or a business or a source of income. I never ever me and Ram both. We never think about the wage we want to get from it. We still to this day haven't took a wage because we pump so much into it. Uh, we just keep picturing the life surrounded with it. And that's what we're building towards, a, a happy life for us both. And for obviously everybody involved, the athletes, the ambassadors, the leaders, like our friends and our families and whoever, whoever we can reach throughout the world. But yeah, so I'm going to stop blabbering on. That's the issues. Summarised up really, really quickly. Uh, I'll not get into the financials and the details of it because it's stressing uh, the life out of me. But yeah, this is going to be the roughest few months we've ever had from start of the business just because we're so far out of pocket like I said and everything's just waiting now so we can't actually like, get returns on any of this stuff for months and months and months. So yeah, that is the stress in my head. Uh, it's off my chest, it's said, it's done. We're gonna work, keep we're gonna keep working like we always do and we will get through till like the end of March, April and get this all started and once we do start, then our the twenty nineteen of going to have products will begin. Like four months in. Yeah. Uh, sorry that was a bit of a ramble. Good to get it off my chest, good to get it out. We're going to have to do an official one fit announcement soon. Probably wait another week or so until we find, until we find out exactly what customs what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening to me bumble, bumble on. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again uh, next week in the next vlog. So yeah, peace out. Thank you.